team, my name's Ben and this is Kevin and this is Amy and today we're going to go through movement of the shoulder girdle. So Amy's going to talk us through the difference between the shoulder joint and the shoulder girdle. So what is the shoulder girdle? It's the scapula and the clavicle. Good. And the shoulder is the? Shoulder joint is the humerus and the glenoid cavity. Good. So, when the shoulder moves, this happens. When the shoulder girdle moves, this happens. Okay, so at the moment we're going to talk about the shoulder girdle. So what movements do we have? Elevation, lifting a body part, shoulder girdle superiorly. So that is Kevin shrugging, so coming straight up. And the opposite of that? Is depression. Moving the elevated body part, shoulder girdle inferiorly. Good, so dropping down. So the opposite of a shrug, depression. And then we have protraction, movement of shoulder girdle anteriorly and transverse plane. So that's coming forward. And the opposite of protraction is... Retraction, movement of shoulder girdle posteriorly and transverse plane. Good, so that's pulling the shoulder blades back to lift your boom booms up. Okay, next. Rotation up, turning upward of glenoid fossa when raising arm above head and frontal plane. Inferior angle of scapula moves laterally. Okay, so when we raise our arm up, as we come up, we run out of room for our head of humerus to fit under the acromion. So then our scapula starts to rotate upwards. Our glenoid cavity will then place up and our inferior angle is going to face laterally. And the opposite of that is when Kevin brings his arm down, the glenoid cavity then drops and the inferior angle moves back manually. So that was rotation up and rotation down. Shot team. <laughs> 